Hello and welcome. Today we are in beautiful sunny Osaka, Japan to visit the world famous 7-Eleven of Japan! Wow. Oh. Um, actually, how world famous it is, I don't know. You tell me if you know about it. I heard about it in a video where they said the food was way better than in America huh? and you can eat inside. So, let's go check it out. You have to be quiet because no talking is allowed in 7-Eleven. International rules. Mm. Vitamin jelly. Chicken too. I don't know what this is. Classic tuna salad sandwich. So many options. This is bus. Okay, now before we leave, you have to d mix your own smoothie, which, depending who you ask, is either really fun or not so. I think it's just dandy. They're hurting him, no! Muy bien. Okay, and I'm almost done with the smoothie. As you can tell, it was pretty good. It's a smoothie with frozen fruit and soy milk. I Google translated the back of it. So I guess they use soy milk in the machine. Pretty good. It also says, please do not give to children. I think it just means when it's still frozen. Otherwise, I don't know why I would say that. Anyway, now I'm gonna go try the rest. Okay, so I just kind of got things at random. Things that I thought looked tasty and things that I thought looked interesting. First, I'm gonna start with the main course. I actually don't know what this is. This is what it looks like. Looks like it might be fish. i gonna be honest, I won't be terribly thrilled if it is fish, but that's what I got myself into. I'm using Google Translate where you take a picture and then it translate, translates. Plenty of Okaka men uh, Tauri Nori Bento. Okay. And this cost 470 yen. So that's what it's looking like. And uh, yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. So here we got this. Oh, wow. It's not really focusing, but it looks like it's probably fish in there. Hmm. It's like teeny tiny separate container for whatever these little noodly things are. Everybody's Japanese favorite. Spaghetti. And of course, the mystery tube. Hmm. 
Hmm. It's definitely some sort of seafood. Maybe a octopus. I don't know how I'm supposed to eat this. The seaweed is like creating, ugh, get out of the way. The seaweed is like creating a bit of a barrier. Oh my gosh. Mmm. Whatever this, this topping is, tastes like burnt. Tastes like burnt, but it's the seasoning. It's like burnt flavor. Hmm. Looks like real fish in there. Like you can tell it's, it was once a real fish in there. Nice. There's like the teeniest, tiniest amount of barbecue sauce on here. Looks like it wasn't even supposed to be in there, but it's in there. I'm going to try some of the sparkling 140th anniversary Mitsuya drink. Sparkling everything flavor. That's why I got it. Because I would love a little sparkling carrot beverage. Are you kidding me? Who would not? Sparkling tomato. Let's see the flavor. Vegetable juice. Fruit, vegetables, sparkling. Yes. Not like my favorite flavor in the world. But I think I've said that about quite a, actually like a couple of drinks that I've had here. And then they grow on you. Like you you're like, you're not totally sure. And then you're like, yeah. 160 yen. That's what I had of that. I'm not gonna have any more of the rice right now because I don't really like it very much. Let's mix it up. Something a little sweet. We got this here. Coffee jelly with whipped cream topping. 240 yen. It's literally coffee in jello form with like cold foam on top. So good. Mm. And this, I'm pretty sure is like milk snow with whipped cream and strawberries. I don't know the actual word for milk snow, but I just know it as milk snow. Like I've had it before. And it's probably like one of my favorite desserts. 368 yen. I will say it's a lot better fresh, but I still like this. Mm. Now alternate back to a sandwich. This is a tuna salad, ham sandwich, egg and sauce for 280 yen. I feel like you gotta go with a tuna sandwich at the convenience store because it's just like a classic uh, dangerous item. Comment below if you're the type of person who has dessert first or after a meal. I'm the type of person that wants it all at the same time so that I can alternate back and forth. I guess it's three separate little sandwiches. This is the egg one. I guess you could eat it like as one giant sandwich if you wanted. Oh, it's so small. Mmm. I noticed a lot of their sandwiches over here have eggs. Really into eggs and sandwiches. The ham, I guess. I usually don't eat pork, but I don't know. I just got that one. And now the pizza resistance. The tuna salad. Yeah, the tuna. Mm. Also, no crust. Sandwiches, no crust. And very fluffy bread. Not toasted. Really feels like you're having a delicacy. Not the butt of the loaf like your mom always used to make you have. That was good, I like that. 
I'm right there. Next, edamame flavored chips. This cost 118 yen. Tostitos? Whatever that brand is of chips that are all like perfectly round. It doesn't taste like overtly like edamame to me. It tastes like a soy product, which makes sense. It's not my favorite flavor in the world, but the texture is very addicting. Next, this Mie crepe. I'm pretty sure they don't not pronounce the double L's, but it's M-I-L-L-E crepe, however you pronounce that, for 278 yen. I don't know if I would have gotten it if I realized it was a crepe. Well, the double wrapper. No way. Oh. You can see the layering. Million layer crepe. Nice. That's good. It tastes like a cream puff. It tastes way better than I was expecting. Oh. I feel like this is some sort of variation of whatever those Chinese mukbangers are always eating. If you know what I'm talking about, they're always eating like these huge, actually, I don't know if they're Chinese, but I think they are. Anyway, besides the point, they're usually eating like these humongous fluffy cakes. Like they're fluffy and they don't look real. They look like they're like 99% whipped cream. And that was like sped up videos, at least that I've seen. They're like, like, like taking the biggest bite ever. That probably was an insane description. But if you know what I'm talking about, then I feel like I described it pretty well. Next, before I fill up on all these sweets, let's try the chicken tube. Chicken salad bar. Mm-hmm. This costs 148 yen. They also usually have like a regular chicken breast in the same kind of packaging. I think it costs a little bit more, but this has an extremely interesting, suspicious look. Ooh, it smells like a sausage. Let's get a little rebound action. What the hell? This would be so clutch to have, just like in the US. Like 60 calories. I don't know, I just feel like this doesn't equate to 60 calories. I feel like it has to be more. Is it like double here or something? Like, is it 120? That would make more sense. Please, if someone could comment that below. Actually, I definitely will not be in Japan by the time that you're watching this video. Like, I won't be here anymore, so it won't matter. But I would like to know uh, for future reference. And I guess for reference of everyone else. I've been looking at a lot of nutrition labels and being like, wow, that's like pretty low in calories, but it might not be. Honestly, it wouldn't make the biggest difference to me one way or the other, because I'd still eat it, probably, on vacation. Like, I'm not that worried about tracking anything. I haven't been eating the best. I have been eating quite a bit of sugar and not a bit of protein, <laughs> so that's okay. I'm not worried about it. I'm just gonna get back to business when I get back to the States.
Holy freaking smokeroos. My mic died like halfway through, <laughs> um, which is a bummer because now my stomach hurts from eating these things. But I got three that didn't get documented that I will try again for the sake of science in this YouTube video. Hopefully it's all worth it. Tiramisu chocolate bar. Wow, look at all this intense packaging that I've never seen before. I saw it twice already. Wow! Lovely on the eyes, terrible on the environment. Let's go. I feel like other countries just like tiramisu more than America does because we have tiramisu there, but I don't see it that many places outside of like restaurants, but never anything that's tiramisu flavored and just don't see it everywhere. Anyway. If you don't know what tiramisu tastes like, it tastes kind of like coffee. It's, it's espresso flavored cake. So, i.e. the beans. The beans! Next, these never before seen mandarin orange flavor gummies. Now I am gonna react like this, like how I reacted the first time. Um, cause it's pungent. This is, this is smelly. Not in a bad way, but like it really hits you in the face with the orange flavor. And not at all the color that I was expecting. Lovely, delicate yellow color. Let's do this. <laughs> mm-hmm. For some reason, I thought it was going to be like a gummy candy with a little juicy gel coming out of the middle, but it's not. It's still, still good. Still its own thing happening. Last but not least, luckily, we got this ultra healthy one. Vitamin jelly! There are many jelly variations of nutrients, multivitamins, different vitamins, vitamin C, energy, protein, in jelly form. And I have seen people actually drinking them. So I think that it's a relatively popular product, which is kind of cool. In the United States, at least where I live, a product like this is not popular amongst the masses. Something similar is popular with long distance runners, athletes, those kind of people. I don't know, uh, not the regular folk as far as I'm aware. And I'm thinking this is just like for convenience so that they don't have to, I don't know, take it a different way. This is the texture, kind of watery with chunks of jelly. Mm. And this one probably isn't my favorite flavor. I've had two of them so far. I also had multivitamin. I kind of like the flavor of the multivitamin one better. I wasn't paying attention to what vitamins were in that one. So maybe you're getting more, maybe you're getting less. I don't know. Everything that we had here today cost a whopping 3,176 yen, which comes out to, currently at market value, $20.41 in USD. So that's really good in my opinion, um, food-wise. I would imagine all of this in the United States, what could you get for $20? And we'll be generous, 50 cents. I would say this, and this might even take you over $20. I feel like this would be at least minimum $12, probably more like $15, probably like $4, six to $7, five to $7. This one, I ate all of it because it's super good. Um, 
seven dollars ranging five to seven dollars six dollars five dollars nope four to five dollars probably you're only gonna find this in like a fancy sports store or sports related store so probably like eight dollars four to six dollars four to five dollars three dollars that's just guesstimation on what i would expect from the area that i live in also i don't know if i have anything directly comparable to these things but also, I don't buy these sort of things that frequently. But if I had to use the knowledge that I have, that's what I would say. Bah. Comment below what you think it would be. That's going to be the end of our video. Thank you for watching. I would super appreciate if you could like this video because it really helps me out a lot. Um, also, if you're not already subscribed to the YouTube channel, please hit the subscribe button so that I'm able to see you in the next video and leave a silly comment below let me know your thoughts let me know what you think this would have cost in your area and let me know something you'd like to see in the future maybe other types of food uh, you'd want to see me try and i'll see what i can put together but yeah thanks for watching and i hope to see you in the next video adios